Russell McKay. Ignace Ontario, right? Ignace. Daryl Kranz, he owns Sound Ontario. How are you doing? I want you to know something. This guy has got a reputation as being the best walleye filleter and probably pretty fast, right? Fairly quick. I Fairly come into quick. town and everybody's talking about you. Oh, that's good to hear. <laughs> How many walleye will you clean a year up here in Ignace? Uh, I don't go by numbers. Probably more like tons. <laughs> but anyways, this guy's got a reputation. He really fillets walleye like there's no tomorrow and there's no bones left in your fish, right? Uh, at the very end, you can take all the bones out, yes. Northern, same thing. Okay, looking at the knives. All Rapalus? All Rapalus. You know, and some guys say Rapala, but the actual name of it is I believe Rapala. the Finlander, the true Finland background is Rapala. Yeah. Okay, I saw you sharpening your knives earlier, right? You're using the stones? Yes, I'm using ceramic stones. You keep them sharp all the time? Uh, fairly sharp. I put them on the stones once before I start cleaning fish, and if there's a pile of fish or a lot of uh, hard bone fish like bass, for example, then I'll have to do it again in between. You built this fish cleaning station? Yes. Okay. You're going to show me how to clean a walleye? Yeah, well, Not a pickerel. We're cleaning walleye, right? Well, we'll clean a walleye. We'll get ourselves you. in trouble by saying, oh, somebody's going to say it's a pickerel. No, actually, they are walleye. <laughs> but anyways, show me how you clean them up. All right. Yeah. I've never seen anybody ever fillet a walleye that fast. Like that was probably under 15 seconds and you've got both sides of the walleye. Yeah, that's probably about right. And you do, when you do a number of them at uh, nighttime, if you've got a whole pile on the table, you, uh, you, you learn to do them a little bit quicker. Like that's fast. I've never seen anybody do a walleye that fast. And how many walleye, what's the most you've done in an evening? I've, I've sat down a few hundred fish. Depends on the amount of guests in the camp. If, uh, if they're all doing, getting their fish cleaned, you can end up with a couple hundred fish on a table very easily. Okay, now you've got the bones. You've already got the rib bones out. The right? rib bones, yes. Now you're about to fill, get the skin off it. That's right. right. And then if you wanted the rest of the bones out, you'd be taking them out later on when you're going to eat them. Yeah. You have your little bones here. But basically, it's ready for take the skin, or skin off the fish right now. I've never seen anybody clean a walleye that fast. Okay. And you're leaving <laughs> a little bit of skin on there just for identification purposes, right? Right. right. Go to it. Now, normally... I'll trim it up a little bit, and normally I will go through stages. I will, I'll probably split them all first, and, uh, and then, I'll, then I'll take the skin off at the end later, just because I like to do stages of my fish. But you leave a patch of skin on for your identification. Yeah. That way they can, otherwise there's your filet ready to go home. Honest to God, I've never seen anybody clean a walleye, and I, I mean clean, clean it that good. There's no blood, there's no mess, right? I've never seen anybody this fast. You got a sharp knife. You ever cut your fingers? Oh, an odd nick here and there, but they grow back. <laughs> Keep cleaning. I want to watch this. <laughs> 